this is a standard laptop, and this is a specialized 2-in-1. What if they had a baby? May I present to you the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5, a standard 2-in-1. Is it worth it? We've got seven items to cover, so let's go over the raw stats. First, pricing. The IdeaPad Flex 5 is a 2-in-1 laptop with pretty good specs for the price. About $850 starting and $700 went on sale, which is a great deal for what you get. Including a 14-inch 1080p display that's also IPS, so a fairly sizable screen with great viewing angles. On top of that, it's also touchscreen and has the ability to be used with the Lenovo Pen to take notes. Which is great because the laptop has a hinge to move the keyboard out of the way and turn it into a tablet. Speaking of great things, connectivity. It's just incredible with this laptop and funnily blows some of the more premium laptops out of the water. I mean, take a look at the list. For internal specs, it's pretty good. First, 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is amazing for productivity and you can run a lot of programs with that. And second, the AMD Ryzen 5500U can run a lot of different programs well, including productivity ones and gaming related ones, such as GTA 5 if you scale the quality back a little. But of course, this is not a gaming laptop, so don't expect amazing, especially graphical performance. Here are the benchmarks. And now for storage, the laptop is okay. 256 gigabytes for a retail of 850. Eh, the laptop could use a little bit more. If you want more, you can always buy a flash drive or an external SSD. And the battery life is pretty good. Some people have gone upwards of 14 hours and some about nine. So we're gonna take Lenovo's word and just say about 12, which is still, Really impressive. And lastly, the laptop runs Windows 11. And now before we get on to my verdict, here's what the reviewers said about the laptop. The IdeaPad Flex 5 was praised for its build, battery life, and security features. And it was critiqued for its weight, bugginess in tablet mode, and webcam quality. So is the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 worth it? I mean, it's just a normal, boring laptop, right? Well, yes and no. It's more of a standard or yeah, normal laptop, meaning it doesn't have all the cool bells and whistles that a more premium one would have, such as the Surface Pro 8. But that's what makes it good. It's a no-frills device that's just used to get work done. And it's tablety, so it's a laptop that can also tablet when you want it to. So it still does have some useful quirks. But going back to the original topic, the question really should be, is this laptop worth it for you? Moreover, does the laptop cover your needs and provide what you want? If it does, then I'd say it's worth it to at least consider it. Because if you want a multifunctional, no-nonsense, two-in-one machine, the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 is an excellent choice. But if it doesn't, then we gotta keep searching. Stay tuned. But ultimately, all of this is your decision based on your preferences. Don't just watch my video on this. I've linked many more down in the description to view at your discretion. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, pronounced like Cyrooster. Just take out the tur. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with your purchase and have a wonderful day.